Hi, welcome back to JF Creations. These are the Black Ladder 1600 11 ounce cotton reinforced work pant. Did I just stumble upon the perfect work technician pants? Spoiler alert, no, but we're getting close. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about them. All right, so before we get started, full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. I was given these pants by the owner of Trusted Gear Company. That's a clothing store here in Montana. He sells these pants and other workwear and tech clothing just like it. He gave me these pants for the purposes of doing a review video. I'm not being paid directly to review these pants, so I can really say whatever I want about them, whether I like them or not, but this is a sponsored video. And since you're here and you're watching this video, I've got a special offer for you. I'll have a special discount code for 10% off your order, but you'll have to wait to the end of the video to see what that code is. Okay, so let's just dive right into these pants. Let's get into the features and the design and what my overall impressions are having worn these for a while now. But obviously one of the real benefits of pants like this is the built-in tool storage. So I'll get into all the pockets here. So on the left leg here, there's two zippered pockets right here and right here that work great for you know, throwing your cell phone in or if you have a notepad or anything like that or any kind of large material or tool, you can just slip those right in there. And then here on the front, on the left leg, there's a long skinny pocket that has these two slots on it. And what these slots are for is, you know, you can put a tool in here if you've got a long screwdriver or something like that, or you could put a pencil in there. But because the slot is so long, if you've got a shorter pencil like this, that would get lost down in there and you have to get a pair of pliers to pull them out. But what they've done is they put two individual slit marks there for different length pencils. So if you've got a real short pencil, you can just stick it in there and you won't lose the pencil in the pocket. And so here on the left leg as well, there's this other little pocket that sits at an angle, has a little Velcro flap on it. Now, this is one thing that they didn't get right. They made this pocket a little bit too small. This would be a good pocket for a cell phone, but it's too small. Unless you have one of those old school, just little, little phones. Remember those Nokia's? If you're still rocking one of those somehow, that might fit in there. But, you know, modern day phones are enormous. And that's just not going to fit in there. The only thing that I've found that fits in here that's of any use is the tin of Altoids. In fact, I'll uh, grab one right now. Why not? Now on the right side, you have another zippered pocket up front. It's a very large pocket. You could put a lot in here. I usually keep my wallet in here, but it's large enough that you could put some large tools in there or you could put some fittings or screws or whatever you're working with. And I just want to mention one thing that Black Ladder got right on these pants is the zippers. So on some of the other pants I've reviewed, all of the pockets have Velcro flaps on them or they're just open. Problem with Velcro, especially if you're working out in the field, Velcro can wear out if you're opening and closing it a lot. And it also attracts dirt and lint and it can wear out and it doesn't stay closed sometimes. I've had stuff fall out of my pockets before out of some of the other pants I have that have the Velcro flap, but zipper is the way to go. Anyway, back around to the right side. You've got another large side pocket here that you could, I don't know, Drop a pair of pliers into if you want. There's another outer pocket here. Same thing. Slide a few tools in here and there's essentially a duplication of this pocket here. On this side, you could put another screwdriver. Has the pencil slots. Another thing that they got right is a hammer loop. So they added a hammer loop here. Not all the work pants I've found have a hammer loop and I don't know why. Hammer's a pretty common tool on a job site. so. They got that right there. Now one of the great things about these pants in general, and not all work pants like these have these, but these do, is these pull out tool pouches. So on the right side here, there's a larger pocket again. You can put fittings or larger tools in there. There's a couple smaller pockets, similar on the other side, but it's just two larger pockets you can slide, you know, a pair of pliers, screwdriver, and on both sides they have these tool loops which are very handy. You could put additional tools there if you had a pair of pliers you could let them hang like that if you want. So they've really thought these pockets out very well. So one downside to these tool pouches, and I'm finding this on a lot of these European work pants, 
is these pouches are just a little too small overall. So I can barely get my hand in here. So if I had a bunch of fittings in here, I was trying to dig through them, it would be hard to pick out what I needed. They should just make these a little bit bigger. But one thing Black Ladder did get right on these pants with the tool pouches is how you store them away. So all these pants that have these types of pouches on them, they're designed for if you don't want the pouches out, if you don't have any tools on you at the time, you just stuff them into the pocket. And then at that point, they essentially look like a regular pant. But the problem with that is, is if you want to use your pocket, put your hands in it, or drop your cell phone in it, you've got this pouch in the way that's kind of annoying. But what Black Ladder did instead, instead of stuffing them down into the pocket, they have this slit right here that you just stuff the pocket down into, slides into your pants there. But there you go. So those completely disappear and you have full access to your regular pant pocket. All right, let's check out the back side. There's not much going on back there. There's two just regular open pockets back here. I guess you could throw in, you know, work gloves or drop a few tools in there or fittings or whatever. Um, or you could drop your wallet in there. I mentioned this on the last video I did when I reviewed the Snickers pants, that pockets kind of loose. You know, if you're crawling around, you've got your wallet or something valuable back there could fall out. The next feature of these pants, I don't find all that useful. I'm not even sure what the point of it is, but they added it on there. Maybe depending on the type of work that you do or the way you wear your pants, you might find it beneficial, but I don't. The cuffs at the bottom have a drawstring on them, so you can tighten that up if you want. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but I'll show you that anyway. So they have a little drawstring here, so you could tighten that up for whatever reason, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what that's for. Maybe if you know why that drawstring is on there, you can leave a comment down below and educate the rest of us. Yeah, I, I don't get it, but it's there for you if you want. Well, maybe if you wanted to go full sheepdog and do that whole military look, maybe you could do that. Tuck the bottom of your pants into your boot. Maybe that's what it's for. I, I don't know. Okay, and now for my favorite feature of all when it comes to pants like this, and that's the built-in knee pads. Being able to protect your knees throughout the day is, is really important if you want to stay in the trades for a while. But usually on pants like this, I found that they put the knee pad pouch way too low, and they're almost like, almost like um, shin guards for soccer. They're just hanging way down there. You kneel down, you got to hitch your pants way up just to get them to land on your knees. Not with these. They've got them pretty much in the right spot. However, they did screw up on one design feature when it comes to the knee pad pouches. For some reason, they decided that it would be better to have the knee pads load up from the bottom, which is a little tricky, and I did a whole video on how to do that properly. Link is up here somewhere if you want to click on that. If you get these pants and you're struggling with loading the knee pads or their knee pads are falling out on you. So... The material is a kind of a heavy cotton material. It almost feels like canvas. It's real tough. Some of the other pants that I've reviewed are more of a light material. It's a little stretchy. And some of those also have individual panels in certain areas that are very stretchy that make those pants a little bit more comfortable and a little more agile for when you're moving around, squatting and kneeling. But even with the lack of stretch material, I guess just from the design of these pants or the cut, it's not an issue. I haven't had any bunching problems or anything like that. Plus, since they're a little bit thicker cotton material and it's the middle of winter in Montana, that's actually a benefit right now. It's helping keep me a little bit warmer when I have to go outside and do work when it's 20 below. So one thing that I've been told about these is they are super tough and I'm finding that to be true too. I was told that a lot of the seams are triple stitched. I don't, I don't know what that actually means because um, I don't know much about sewing, I'm not a seamstress, but I'm told that, that makes the seams incredibly strong and incredibly resistant to tearing or ripping apart. In fact, I think there's a little video here that will show just how tough these seams are. Let's take a look.
Well, that was impressive. If they can stand up to that and not tear apart, then I think they should survive a work day just fine. So what about comfort, fit, design, all that? You're going to be wearing these 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day, however long you work in the day. You want them to be comfortable. You want them to be useful. So in my opinion, I think on this design, on this pant, they, they struck that balance between comfort, fit, and utility pretty much perfect. So as far as the fit, they are roomy in the legs to where you can move around with ease, but they're not so roomy and baggy to where it feels like you're wearing clown pants and they're getting snagged on things. That's a problem too if they're too baggy because you're constantly having to hitch your pants up, but you also don't want them so tight that they're actually restrictive. So I think they struck that balance pretty much perfect on these. As far as the, the comfort, as far as the material itself, maybe a little rough when you first get it. You wash it a few times, they soften up a little bit and they're quite comfortable. I enjoy wearing them. As far as the look and the design, well, they're work pants. So, you know, if you're into high fashion, these may not be the choice for you. I mean, maybe you like the look, you can wear them out to the club if you want, but you know, they're more of a tool and less of a fashion statement. So let's talk about a couple of the things that I don't like about these pants or I wish they would have done a little bit differently. And this is from the perspective of somebody that uses these pants every day. And that's small tool storage. So I wish on the legs they would have added a few more small tool slots because I use smaller tools in most of what I do. So all they really have to offer is these two long skinny slots here on the side and everything else is essentially a larger pocket like these zipper pockets or this open drop in pocket on the side here. I would like to see a, a few more individual small tool slots to hold things like small screwdrivers, little flashlights, things like that. But other than that and the unusual bottom loading knee pad pouch, I can't really think of anything else to complain about on these pants. They got just about everything right on these. These are the closest to perfect that I've found so far. So the next thing you may be asking yourself is cost. You know, how much do pants like this cost? So let's, let's check that out. I'll pull up these pants on Trusted Gear Company's website, see how much he's selling them for. $129.95 a pair for, for this style. He does offer four interest-free installments of $32.48 with shop pay. So that's an option for you too. When it comes to work where you get what you pay for, I do have some cheaper ones that I've bought before and they are nowhere near the quality of these, of course. The way I look at it, these are tools. These aren't pants, they're actually tools. They help me perform my job. So that's one way I'm able to justify the slightly higher cost of pants like these. So what's the bottom line? Do I recommend these pants? Should you get a pair if you're in the market for a pair of work pants? The answer is obviously yes. So if you're thinking you want to try a pair of these pants or check out some of the other things that Trusted Gear Co. has to offer, there are affiliate links in the description below. They'll take you right to his website. I'll have these pants linked up right there. If you decide you want to buy these or buy something else at a store, you can use code JFCREATIONS at checkout for 10% off your order. And order yourself a pair of black ladders, put them to the test, and get to work.